Micropaleontology by Professor Dr. Salah N. Iod. Introduction and the Importance of Microfossils Lecture 1 Introduction and the Importance of Microfossils the definition of micropaleontology is the study of microscopic fossils that they must be examined with a microscope. Most marine microfossils are protists, unicellular plants and animals, but others are multicellular raw microscopic parts of macroscopic forms. The value of marine microfossils is enhanced by their minute size, abundant occurrence, wide geographic distribution in sediments of all ages and in almost all marine environments. Most planktonic and many benthic microfossils have wide geographic distributions that make them indispensable for regional correlations and comparisons, and paleoceanographic reconstructions. Marine microfossils occur in sediments of Precambrian to recent ages, lived in almost all marine provinces, neuritic, littoral, province, inner, middle and outer, up to 200 meters, bathal, oceanic, province, upper, middle and lower, up to 2000 meters and abyssal, oceanic, province up to 5000 meters. Calcareous nanoplankton Ecology Habitat Geologic range Mineralogy Type of protista Photosynthetic slash various heterotrophy slash carnivorous Aquatic Silurian Dash recent Organic Dinoflagellates Unknown Marine Precambrian recent Acrotox Photosynthetic Any wet Cretaceous recent Apollin silica Diatoms Photosynthetic slash various Heterotrophy Cretaceous recent Silicoflagellates Various heterotrophy Cambrian recent Radiolarians Jurassic, recent. Calcite. Calcareous nanoplankton. Various heterotrophy, some with symbionts. Organic, agglutinated, calcareous, some other. Benthic forams. Planktonic forams. Silicoflagellate, dictyocha. Microfossils include radiolaria, silicoflagellates. Calcareous nanoplankton, pteropods, foraminifera and diatoms are planktonic, free-floating, and live in abundance from 0 to 200 meters in the open ocean. Silicoflagellate, dictyocha, radiolarian shells, calcareous nanoplankton, pteropods, diatoms, radiolarians, and planktonic diatoms. Planktonic foraminifera, diatoms, radiolarians, and a silicoflagellate planktonic foraminifera. Ostracodes bryozoa crisia acropora corizopora brongnia ti. Other groups as the ostracodes, bryozoa, and some foraminifera and diatoms are benthic, adapted to living on the bottom of the sea. Ostracodes, Bryozoa, Crisia acropora, Corizopora, Brongniotii, Benthic foraminifera, Benthic foraminifera, Benthic marine diatoms. Some forms, such as the dinoflagellates are known to contain both planktonic and benthic phases in their reproductive cycle and are useful tools in paleoecology. Spores and pollen, although derived from land plants, are strongly climate dependent. Thus, their presence and distribution patterns in nearshore marine sediments allow interpretations of continental climates, and or, like chemical traces, 
Their distribution can be used to monitor current movement. Scope of foraminiferal studies The reason why foraminifera are important in oil exploration and other subsurface work as index fossils, indicators of a particular geological age, lies not only in their abundance but equally in their range of size. This is generally between 0.10 mm and 1.00 mm in diameter and averages about 0.33 mm, equal to the fine sand grade of sediments. Although some are macroscopic and exceed 5.00 mm in diameter, larger foraminifera, and some are smaller than 0.10 mm, microforaminifera. The reasons for the particular value of foraminifera in stratigraphy 1. They are abundant in most marine sediments, in outer shelf muds where several thousand specimens representing some 50 species frequently occur in a 10 ml volume sample. According to Levine, 1962, they constitute 2.5% of the animal kingdom and more than half the known protozoa. A number of species belonging to different families also occur in brackish water but only members of the non-testate allogromedo occur in fresh water. Therefore, the occurrence of foraminifera is an indication of marine, high marine to brackish, conditions. 2. The average about 0.33 mm in diameter, fine sand, with range from 0.10 mm to 1.00 mm. This means that they escape destruction during the ordinary process of rotary drilling. 3. Stratigraphic markers tops based on the first appearance of species and assemblages and ditch cuttings can be applied in correlation which can be carried out without expensive coring. 4. It has existed in abundance since the Cambrian, showing well-marked evolutionary changes useful in stratigraphy. Different families mark the eras and major time periods. 5. Many species are planktonic and of worldwide occurrence. When this wide geographical range is combined with a short vertical time range they make excellent index fossils. 6. Many species are restricted in their habit and confined to a particular ecological niche. They are thus particularly useful in interpreting the character of ancient environments. 7. Forum limestones, larger foraminifera, are well developed in the Upper Paleozoic, the Upper Cretaceous and in the Cenozoic. 8. Classification is based on characters shown by the fossilizable test.